Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Moto, uh, Motorola cell phone. This is a Moto One, the model is an XT1941. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna start replacing the screen on this one. I'm gonna take you on a step by step how you can replace a broken LCD on this one. This one is broken, pretty much banged up. It declined brought in, I don't know the password, but it's still working a little bit, but it's still really broken. So we got the replacement part in. So this is your replacement part in. I'll try to give the link in the video description for you guys. So we're gonna go over the tool that we're gonna be using. Tool number one and very important one is the glue that we're gonna be using. The glue for it is a T-8000 glue. It's a clear one, transparent. And we will need a workshop towel. So we're gonna be working on top of the workshop towel as uh, once we remove the broken screen, there might be a piece of the glasses. So we don't wanna uh, throw it on the table. We're just gonna open it in here. You do need a hot station or hair dryer. I will suggest a hair dryer if you're doing it at home. But in this case, I have a hot station. It's the same thing pretty much. Because we're only going to be heating up up to 80 degrees. You do need a opening tools. For the opening tools, I'm going to be using a whole bunch of metallic guitar picks. These are really suitable to opening this electronics. And after that pretty much that's it we should be ready if anything else i'll let you you do need some kind of razor blade or this kind of razor blade or spatula i'll try to get the links for this one too so uh, you will need a, a screwdriver set i use the iFixit screwdriver set we're going to be using a phillips double zero i believe first thing first before we get to the screen we need to heat up the back pl uh, glass right here plastic glass is mixed and we're gonna remove this one. We're gonna heat it up to the touch. So make sure you don't heat up too much the cameras. Just go over it simply and start heating it up. So I'm gonna set it at 80, 90 degrees. And I'm gonna start heating it up. But I'm gonna remove the nozzle on this one so I get a bigger nozzle. So let's go ahead and heat it up. Now that it's heated up, so we're gonna grab the opening tool and we're gonna stick it right at the bottom here. And we're gonna just roll it around. We gotta break that seal. Gonna leave that one in there and we're gonna heat it up a little more. And we're gonna stick the second one in there. And uh, we're gonna work around. Uh, we should see this separation right there. That's what you wanna see. So, now I'm gonna leave one on this side and one on the other side so that the adhesive doesn't go back down. Also, you might wanna remove the tray for the, the SIM card reader. So we're gonna keep running it around, all around. Keep going all the way to the upside. You wanna take your time doing this. I like to put the guitar pick over the lens so I don't heat up the lens. And there we go. Now gently you want to lift it up like a, opening a book. Towards the left side there's a touch screen ID here. So you don't want to yank on this cable. You want to put it beside it or overlap them. And you want to remove one tiny uh, Phillips screw, screw right there. So that's a double zero screw. 
So go ahead and remove that tiny screw. Once you remove it, you need to remove with a tweezer, curved tweezers. Remove this plate on top of it. Now you want to lift up this contact, just pull it underneath, just lift it up. It just is a push in contact, so you just lift it up from the bottom side. So this is the bottom cover. So I think somebody already removed this one because look at the glues everywhere, so it's not constant. So yeah, so we're gonna put that to one side. And we are gonna work over here right now. We're gonna remove all the screws that we see in here. So we're gonna remove the bottom screws. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six screws right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws right on the top side. So go ahead and remove all the screws. All right, once we remove the screws, we're gonna remove the bottom cover here. So put a guitar pick right underneath here on the cover. And you need to lift it up. So there's one more screw I missed in the corner here. So check really nicely for the screws. So remove this one that I had adhesive right beside it, just lift it up, bring it over, and put it to one side. Actually, you did not need to remove this part because the cable goes from underneath here, so don't worry about it. But if you remove it, you can still clean it up if you want. You're going to remove this uh, wireless charger right here. It comes with this tape over. So you want to lift it up from the bottom side from here. Bring it up and remove it. It has a lot of adhesive right to it. So once you remove it, first thing you want to do first is to disconnect the battery by pulling this jack upward so the battery gets disconnected. Okay. Now what we're gonna do here, we're gonna remove the uh, this cable right here, the bridge cable that goes to the bottom to the top, and the LCD connector right here. So disconnect these two. Once you disconnected these two, disconnect the antenna right here on the right, just lift it up, bring it to one side. Now we're gonna remove this screw right there, and this screw right in that. There's a, for this on off switch button, remove this Captain tape on top. So that time you don't need it. And you wanna open up the lock from here, upward. And you wanna slide out the jack. Okay. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna remove one screw, two screws from here. We're gonna lift up the motherboard. From the side, doesn't matter which side you want to start, just jack it underneath and bring it up and pull out the motherboard. And sit the motherboard to one side because we don't want to heat it up, overheat that thing. The headphones, leave it right there. The battery, you need to remove the battery. Just put something underneath and just lift it up from the side. Do from both sides, three sides, there's an adhesive right to it. So once the battery is removed, put that one to one side. Now you want to rip this one up. So this is the LCD cable. So you want to loose up this one. Leave the other one the way it is. Now what we're going to do here, we're going to heat up this part here. And we're going to just, again, peel off this LCD. So we want to, it's going to be lots of glass breaking around. So be careful, put an eye protection.
So you stop on the bottom and stick it right underneath and go ahead and lift up the LCD. Be careful with your with your eyes. And once you lift it up, just hold it like this. And while you're heating it up, you can pull it up because this is already broken. So it doesn't matter if you keep breaking it more. So just heat it up and pull up the LCD. So there we go. Now you can trash this part. We need to clean up and remove every glass in here. You need this type here, whatever you have in here, the headphone cover. Safeguard this one. Uh, you can also with a toothbrush clean up the mesh right here nicely. And we're going to use a spatula or razor blade to clean up all the adhesive from the side. Heat it up and remove all the adhesive from the corners. But we don't want any adhesive. So I'm going to take my time and go ahead and clean it up. And I'll be back. All right. Now I cleaned up the my workplace i removed all the extra adhesive around the border everything clean up nicely clean up the mesh for the speaker with a toothbrush clean up the back side of the adhesive that they had all around here so and i put the board on and i connected the cable for the power on switch just snap on the cable for the bridge from the bottom to the top and clean up as much as i could the adhesive around here and uh, as much as I could clean up the adhesive around the back plate. Now what we're going to do, we're going to put the two screws on the main board. So put the two screws for the main board, which was one right over here in the corner. And the other one was right, I believe, in here. So yeah, so if you want to know where it was, it was right over here by the audio jack. So put the two screws back on. Now we're going to attach the LCD to the here. Okay, so we're going to prep up the board with a P8000 glue right around it. We're just going to tiny line all around. Just take your time and doing it. And the glue has to sit there for two minutes before you put the LCD on. So you have to let it sit there for a few minutes now that we prep the bottom side the lcd screen side we're gonna let it there for few for two minutes to sit there before we put the screen on All right, now that we let us sit there for a few minutes, what we're going to do, we're going to grab the LCD, but make sure you put this uh, speaker cover on top of it that we removed. You got to put this one on there here. So put the speaker cover right on top. Okay, so put that one in there. Uh, so for it, for, I don't want this one to fall down from top, so I'm going to bring the LCD from the bottom side here. You stick the cable right through. Bring it and align it on the bottom side. Once it's aligned, now you can just flip it over and press right on it. Press the corners. Press the bottom. Don't worry about this extra plastic that they just comes out. It's a silicone. Once it dries up, it's just gonna fall off. So don't worry about that one. So we're gonna press on it nicely on the side. Make sure it's nice and compact in there. And we're gonna put a face down, press the corners, press the sides. And we're gonna bring this connector here. And we're gonna plug it in there and we're gonna run it like this we have to give it a 90 degree sharp corner at the back here for the battery you don't need there's still adhesive in here so you just put the 
battery right on top and that should be all now you can connect the battery once you connect the battery you can turn it on to test it out so to make sure that it's turning on so it's still working nice so once we get in here we're gonna we know that it's working so i'm just gonna unplug the battery so it turns off plug it back in together now we're gonna grab the shield on the top here we're gonna put the top side down first where the cameras go and just snap it in place and right now we're gonna put the bottom side grab the bottom end make sure nicely in place put the bottom speaker in place now we're going to put all those uh, the black screws they're all the same size on the top cover and on the bottom cover quickly don't forget about the antenna cable i think i forgot that one so i'm going to plug in the antenna cable it's just a snap on so yeah plug in the antenna just push it on top we got all that set we're gonna uh, put this contact in there but before we put this contact in there i'm gonna put the glue on the back side all around it now that we put the glue on the case we're gonna grab the contact for the touch id and we're gonna set it just press it on top and put the bracket and the screw for this one Just grab it, bring it over, align it, and just set it down and press on it. And there you go. And that's how you upgrade your or replace your screen for your Moto One XT 1941. If you guys have any question or requests, feel, them, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.